Hi, my name is Job Mumia. I'm the co-founder of Vasili Essential Oils. Here we do the extraction of essential oils from plants, herbs, and also gum. The essential oils are basically used for cosmetic, pharmaceutical, and also for personal use in aromatherapy. We do the extraction of lemongrass, thyme, lavender, among other herbs, also gums like the frankincense, mar, we extract essential oils from them. Here at Asili, we convert such raw materials of, like this one is of eucalyptus globulus, into this eucalyptus oil that is used to treat respiratory infection, can be used for massage, it can also be used in cosmetic and pharmaceutical products. And this is my story. At Asili Essential Oils, we deal with the extraction of essential oils from different species of plants and herbs. We also do extraction of trees. We also lease our, our equipment for individual and businesses who have raw materials that would like to extract essential oils from them. We do that here. And this journey began at the University of Nairobi where I did Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and we learned about creating processes, doing laboratory work, analytical work. So that's when I started this journey of Asili. I know maybe you are wondering why I would be interested to join this venture. Why we chose to extract essential oils. Uh, there are basically three. First, we realized that the country imports around 70,000 tons of essential oils annually from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. We obtained data from their books. So we realized how can we uh, limit this imbalance of trade? Yet we have the raw materials here. So that's why we started this. Another thing is that manufacturing in Kenya is less than 10%. This means that people who have done industrial chemistry and uh, the chemistry related uh, courses may not be able to find employment. So we thought we can do this and raise revenue for ourselves and create employment also for others. And finally, in our family there has never been any successful entrepreneur. So I took it as a challenge for me to start this venture and uh, to see if we can have at least one successful entrepreneur in the family. Currently the herbs that we extract essential oils from are lemongrass, we do thyme, uh, we also do a peppermint, and we also extract essential oils from trees like eucalyptus globulus, cypress, among others. And I think this is an area that has not been very much addressed because there are farmers who have these species in their lands, yet they cannot get any commercial value from them. So that's why we are coming in, we are trying to make sure that they can earn a living or get something out of these uh, crops that are underutilized. There are four major processes that are used to extract essential oils, but for us we use steam distillation, where we just use water, we generate steam from it, and this steam is the one that will extract essential oil from the material of interest, the species, the actual species that we want to extract the essential oils from. We chose to use steam distillation because first it does not interfere with the chemical nature of the essential oils and we will not have a, a daunting task to try and remove impurities from the oils. Yeah, the oil will be in pure form. Then another thing is that the, the process is a little bit simple as compared to others. We don't need much for us to, much capital for us to initiate the process of steam distillation while we are extracting essential oils. But there is also another process that is called uh, carbon. We use uh, CO2 to extract essential oils. We can also use reagents 
that can extract essential oils but these methods are known to have some uh, impurities that can find their way into the essential oils so they will not be in their pure form so most people who use essential oils they prefer steam distillation we use essential oils every day unknowingly because first they are used in cosmetic products yeah the lotions and the and most of the jellies that we apply on our bodies have essential oils as one of the ingredients that they are used to treat acne and other skin infections. Essential oils are also used to manufacture pharmaceutical products. There are some weeds that possess essential oils that can be used to manufacture organic pesticides and insecticides that can be used in agricultural sector. We have realized that some of the synthetic pesticides and in insecticides have uh, negative health effects on the users so I think this is a line that we should focus on that can help reduce that the country and finally they can be used in aromatherapy yeah for relaxation for setting the mood right yeah basically those are the uses of essential oils Okay, our go-to-market strategy was basically B2B interactions. We are selling our essential oils to businesses and organizations that use them as raw materials to manufacture their products such as cosmetics and pharmaceutical products. But we are also trying to do now B2C, yeah, in which we can be selling the essential oils in small batches to uh, local consumers for personal use. So joining this venture as a chemist and a scientist, it has not been easy because as you know, entrepreneurship is a mixture of art and science. So I had the science part of the business, but I, didn't, I lacked the art part. So I struggle a bit with branding and also marketing the products. But I came to learn later, there is a program that was initiated by Bridge for Billions that was funded by UNEP and other sponsors. I joined that program for six months where I learned about how I can be able to leverage on the gaps that I have in the business and all has been well since then. When I link about manufacturing and business here in Kenya, it is a difficult uh, path because the cost of production is so high. So we find that we are spending so much on input, the cost of power, and uh, also transportation costs due to high cost of fuel brought about by inflation. So this limits the profits and also the, uh, the scalability of the business. As a business to adjust the high cost of production, we have decided to optimize the production that we are doing here. For example, when we do a cycle, we ensure we do more cycles in a day so that we reduce the power consumption. Also, we have also ensured that we are dealing with farmers who are near our factory so that we can reduce the cost of transportation that may be incurred and this has really helped us a lot to stay afloat. Our vision is very clear. We want to incorporate as many farmers as possible into our line of production. We also want to extract more species. We have A to Z a policy. This means that we want to extract essential oils from each and every species that is available in the country. And by doing this, we are going to create opportunities for others and also we can be able to leverage on imbalance of trade as far as essential oils are, are concerned. We are also intending to add value to these essential oils. We have already begun that. We have made a bathing bus. We have submitted them for test and they have passed the test. We have obtained permits from cabs. So I think from there we can move forward with that. And that's what we do here at Asili Essential Oils. We add value to underutilized plants to make essential oils from them. I'm curious to know what you do in your agribusiness space. Share your story. <music>